Righto, g'day guys, I'm going to show you how to make, uh, how to get remote desktop on a computer, iPhone, anything that supports remote desktop. So basically you first begin by clicking on the start or the little globe, typing in CMD, and going up to here and typing in IPCONFIG, and basically where it says default gateway for the little dots, dot dot dot. When you get to 112.168.1.1, go to your Mozilla Internet Explorer, it doesn't really matter, and type that in. And then, I don't have a password for mine, I don't believe in passwords. You might get a password, it might be like admin, admin, admin password, or just admin, something like that. Anyways, when you get into the modem, look for something that says port forwarding, or something like that. Once you get into it, it may look something like this. Um, we want to add a custom service. Um, service name. I want to call it Remote Desktop. Uh, make sure the service type is TCP UDP. Starting port is 3389. Uh, that's probably really good in here. And this service IP part is the part where we want to, what computer you want to access, or what computer you want to make the port available to. My computer. For IP address dot 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 is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two. Okay. So pretty much I'm gonna top two in there. Once this is done, just press apply. And now that's in there. That's pretty much all you have to do. Kinda. Sometimes there might be um a firewall sitting here, you just have to add that service pretty much. And I think you have to tell it to allow that TCP dash UDA or whatever it was, that that service part. Other than that, you're pretty much good to go. Um then what you have to do is log out. <laughs> Hang on. Mm, shit. Um after you've done that, go to the globe, go to computer, right click, and go to properties. Once you've done that, go to Advanced System Settings, and then go to Remote. Make sure you go to this, because you have to allow remote assistance connection to this computer. So you want to click Allow, and where it has, click on the option, um, click on the secure one, only because if I'm wanting to remote desktop from a Windows XP computer, it's going to let me do it because it's Windows 7, but if I want a remote desktop from a 7, well, I could probably just go to, you know, a mouse, you know, the top one or something like that, or it's going to have to be the middle one no matter what. So, I'm going to click Apply and click OK. Once that's done, you can close out of that window, and then we have to do is have to go to the globe again and go to Control Panel, go to User Accounts, because we have to set a password now, because it won't let you do remote desktop without a password just to make it a bit more safer I guess, or more secure. I want to create a password with my account. So I pretty much type in whatever floats your boat. That's awesome. Now I'll press create password. And that's basically how you get remote desktop active on a computer. Um, make sure you get this number. Tell about this one here. To access the router. Don't worry about the subnet mask and make sure that top one there above the subnet mask is the one that the computer that you want to access. If you want this is over a network by the way, so if you want to do it over the internet, you pretty much go to Google and uh, type in what's my name? And it'll give you the site here. And basically it'll tell you the top my IP address is one two one dot Two I'm not going to give away the rest. Because hackers. Motherfuckers. Anyways. What you would do is you, if you want to do it over the internet. Say I'm um, finally deciding to do a remote desktop. iPhone. Computer. Whatever. Computer. You type in for the network. You type in 192.168.1.2. Because that's this computer's network location address thing. If it was over the internet, I would type in, you know, one 
121.214.57 and I'm not giving away the rest. Um, if we'll go here, computer, username, so you put in the username, which for me it's word no, which is Andrew backwards. You can go through here and select what you want. You know, configure the screen, the bit time, all that sort of shit. Um, and then you pretty much press connect, and then it'll prompt you for a password. Put the password in that we set in the control panel. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, with the iPhone, just download an application. The one that I have is called... Get out of that, fuck yeah. It's called R, right, RDP. Basically, you go to menu, you go to edit connections, you put into the IP address, whether that's network. Say if the iPhone's on a wireless network, you could access that computer remotely network. Or, I guess the thing you want to do is just internet. So put in the internet IP address, put in your username, put in your password. You can put in the name of the connection if you want to. You can select the screen resolution. Um, and then pretty much just press connect and you should be good to go. So, yeah. Hope this helps.